Okay, so we're going to talk about dividing fractions and mixed numbers. Uh, so put that title at the top of your page and put the date in the top right corner. If you need to pause, uh, have someone ready to uh, pause it for the class. Okay, so uh, to do this, though, we need a vocab word, and that vocab word is reciprocal, reciprocal. And uh, that is uh, one of two numbers whose product is one. Um, so write that down, and then I'll, I'll write an example down of what that actually means. Okay, so for example, uh, this is the easiest one I know, two-thirds and three-halves are reciprocals. All we did is take the two-thirds and flip it. Uh, and when you multiply them, you actually get two times three is six, three times two is six, six divided by six is one. So an example is two-thirds and three-halves. Uh, another example is, let's say, five-ninths, and the reciprocal would be nine-fifths, because all we did is flip these uh, upside down. So five times nine is 45, nine times five is 45, 45 divided by 45 is one. So that's what a reciprocal is. You take two numbers, you multiply them, the product, meaning answer to a multiplication problem, is one. So make sure you get that down. Okay, so uh, write down the reciprocal of each of these numbers. I'll do example one, you do example two. Uh, you have to write down both of them, though. So, for example one, if it's one-fifth, I know the reciprocal is actually five over one because one times five is five, five times one is five, and five divided by five is one. So, our product is one because when we flipped it and multiplied, we got one. So find, for number two, the reciprocal of three-fourths. Okay, so the reciprocal of three-fourths is actually four-thirds, because three times four is twelve, four times three is twelve, and our product is one. So the reciprocal of three-fourths is four-thirds. All right, example three. A little tougher now because now uh, we have a mixed number. So before I, I can't find the reciprocal of this number, I have to make that, instead of a, a mixed number, I have to make that in an improper fraction. And you do 2 times 3 plus 1, which is 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7 over 3. Now it's kind of easy to find my reciprocal. I just flip them, and I get 3 sevenths. And now I could do 7 times 3 is 21, 3 times 7 is 21, uh, and that's 1. So my reciprocal is actually 3 sevenths. Try number four. Okay, number four. Uh, I have three and one fifth, so now I have to turn that into, again, an improper fraction. So I do three times five, which is 15, plus one, which is 16 over five. So that's just this one. It's not the reciprocal yet. Uh, we actually still have to flip it. So I'm going to flip it and get five sixteenths. 16 times 5 is 80, 5 times 16 is 80, and I get 1. So the reciprocal of 3 and 1 fifths is actually 5 sixteenths. Okay, number 5. Now, why do we even use reciprocals? Well, we use them to divide, to do division problems. Um, so here we have 4 fifths divided by 5. But look, that 5 doesn't, it's not a fraction but we can make it a fraction. You make any whole number a fraction by putting it over 1. So it's actually 4 fifths divided by 5 over 1. So we're going to do 4 over 5 divided by 5 over 1. Now, uh, instead of dividing, you can't divide fractions, so we actually have to multiply by the reciprocal. So it's going to be 4 fifths times the reciprocal of the second number. The first number always stays the same. Keep that the same. This, though, is going to be 1 over 5. So we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. And I want you to write a note that says exactly that. 
on your paper. Multiply by the reciprocal. Now we just multiply straight across. Uh, 4 times 1 is 4, 5 times 5 is 25, so it's actually the answer is 4 25ths. Try number 6 on your own. Okay, so uh, we're going to make that again over 1. So we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So uh, this one stays the same, so it stays 8 sevenths, and we're going to multiply by 1 seventh. Multiply by the reciprocal. 8 times 1 is 8, 7 times 7 is 49, so our answer would be 8 49ths. So number 7, we are going to, again, multiply by the reciprocal. First number always stays the same, change it to multiplication, and then we do the reciprocal, 2 over 1. 3 times 2 is 6. 4 times 1 is 4, we get 6 fourths. But we have to put that into uh, lowest terms, so our simplest terms. So I'm going to divide by 2, and I'm going to get 3 halves. And 2 can go into 3, so that's going to be 1. It goes in once, and then you have 1 left over out of 2. So it's actually 1 and a half. Try number 8 on your own. Okay, so 5 6 divided by 2 thirds. Well, it's actually going to be 5 6 times 3 over 2. So 5 times 3 is 15. 6 times 2 is 12. We have to reduce. We can actually divide by 3 and get 5 over 4. Now, 4 goes into 5. We have to turn this back into a uh, mixed fraction. 4 goes into 5 once. And then you'd have 1 left over out of 4. Okay, now, these are both mixed numbers, and we have to change them into improper fractions. So let's do that first. 2 times 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11 fourths. And then divided by 1 times 12 is 12, plus 1 is 13 over 12. So I have to now multiply by the reciprocal. So it's going to be 11 fourths, remember the first one always stays the same, times 12 over 13. So 11 twelfths is 132, and 4 times 13 is 52. Now obviously that they're even so they can be reduced, uh, so let's divide by 2. 132 divided by 2 Okay, think about this. 100 divided by 2 is 50. 32 divided by 2 is 16. So 50 plus 16 is 66. 52 divided by 2 is 26. Still even. Let's divide by 2. Uh, half of 66 is 33. Half of 26 is 13. Okay, we have a prime number in the bottom. We know, uh, and we know it doesn't go evenly into 33. But it does go in twice to get up to 26. And from 26 to 33, there'd be 7 left over. So 2 and 7 thirteenths would be your answer. All right, try number 10 on your own. Okay, welcome back. So let's take 2 and 2 thirds and divide by 1 and 1 sixth. Uh, first, we have to make those into improper fractions. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8 over 3. Divided turns into multiplication. Then you do 1 times 6, which is 6, plus 1, which is, sorry, let's keep this division until we uh, change them into improper's. 1 times 6 is 6, plus 1 is 7, 6. Uh, so then we do multiply times the reciprocal, 6 sevenths. 8 times 6 is 48. 3 times 7 is 21. Now, I know, uh, because we learned it earlier this year, that 3 goes into both of these, because 4 plus 8 is 12, can be divided by 3. 2 plus 1 is 3, it can be divided by 3. So let's divide those by 3. And we get 16 over 7. Now that's still a, uh, an improper fraction, so let's make it into a mixed number. 
7 goes into 16 twice, and that gets us up to 14. We would have 2 left over to get to 16 uh, out of 7, so 2 and 2 sevens. All right, great job.